What is up then guys, how you all doing? Well, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing something which I've been highly anticipating for quite a while. But at the same time I've been pulling it off just because there's one thing that I don't really know how to do just yet. But we are going to try and figure it out today. Um, so yeah, if you can't tell by the thumbnail or the clickbait title, we are going from drum brakes and we are now putting discs on the back. So I'll just run you through what we've got for this little setup. Okay then, so firstly, we've got our handbrake cables. So these aren't ST150 handbrake cables because we're not using ST50 rear brakes. So these fit with the rear of the um, brakes, which is OEM to these wires, but I'm not too sure whether this is gonna work and I'm not too sure if this is gonna be the right, uh, right length. So that is one thing we're gonna have to figure out as we go. This might be a bit of an incomplete video, but I'll try and do it as much as possible or to the best of my ability. And that's what I was saying when I was saying there's one part which I'm not too sure whether to do, like how to do, because I've, I've taken the heat shield off on the back of the car, but I've never done the center of the car. So this is gonna be a learning, for, le learning experience for me. Um, hopefully you guys learn something from it too, which obviously, yeah, so it should be fine. Fingers crossed, if it's all forward parts, it's all OEM forward parts, so there should be no problem. And worst comes to worst, we just go get some hours. But let's carry on. So we've got our hubs here. These are off of Ford Focus. They've all got brand new bearings in them. I am missing the cap on this one because I, I went kind of savage with that one. But yeah, need to get one of one of those. Everything's been painted. It's also got extended studs in there already. Kind of need to get rid of that copper grease on there. It's not very safe. But yeah, that's on that side. If any of you guys went to Tom Attack, you would have seen these Goodridge brake, 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 brake lines being sold stupidly cheap. Um, these are for a Ford Focus RS. Um, kind of a bit of a hint, but yeah, these should fit. Well, they do fit on the hit onto here, and I'm pretty sure that the threads are going to be the same onto the actual chassis of the car, onto the original plumbing. And I think I've already just shown you there. So these aren't ST150 brakes, and I don't think they're um, ST170 brakes either. Quick little story. Right then, so if I ever want to buy second-hand car parts, I always go onto uh, Facebook Marketplace, like the forums and stuff like that, or I'll either go onto eBay. So I was looking for some ST170 brakes. I know most people go for the ST150, but I thought I'd go for the bigger size, better performance, bigger disc, bigger pads. I think that's, that was my logic. I was like, that's what I'm going for. So I've gone onto Facebook Marketplace and I found this guy who apparently brakes cars in his spare time. Um, he actually works at a police salvage yard. So if you ever get your car seized by the police for not being taxed and it goes to get scrapped, that's where it ended up. So I've messaged him, hi mate, have you got any ST70 rear brakes in? He says, yeah, yeah, I'll sort some out if you come and collect them, 100 quid, it's all yours. And that was including the carriers, the hubs, and the handbrake cable, and the pads. So for 100 pound, that's absolutely spot on. Um, so yeah, I've gone to go and collect these. I've turned up at the guy's house, um, and he hasn't got any ST170 brakes. He's got a Focus RS Mark One rear brakes, which at the first, I was like, are you taking a piss? Are you being serious? But yeah, apparently that's what these brakes are. I think somebody might be able to give me a bit of clarity. I don't know if the ST-170 and the Focus RS Mark 1 are the same, but I think it probably sounds better for the title, so I think just slap RS in there. It's a Ford Fiesta, I've got RS parts on it, just, just you know, no big deal. But yeah, I'll show you one more time. So handbrake cable, hubs, carriers, um, calipers, brake lines. I've got the discs there, if you saw my little Jordan slide video. <laughs> yeah. That, I've also got pads around somewhere as well. So I think it's time to go and get all of this slapped on the Ford Fiesta. Enough talking. Okay then, so let's go get set up. I'm not gonna go into too much depth about how to remove the rear hubs and uh, everything like that because I have got two videos on it which I'll try and link here. Um, one's removing the um, hubs so I can put the axle spacers on and then there's another one where I was putting extended lug nuts on. So uh, if you wanna learn how to do it properly and nice and slow step by step, I'd definitely go and follow that. But for this, I'm just gonna try and speed through it, uh, get it done Saturday, I wanna go to the pub. But yeah, let's get this done. So as you can see, big bolt on the front. Um, you do, I think you might need to remove it because if you want to remove the handbrake cable and the hub separately, it's probably easy to do like that. But I think I'm just going to undo everything just so it's a bit more simpler on myself. And on the back, there are these four bolts down there. They need to be undone. Um, pretty simple, quite easy to do. But um, you also need to remove the wire for the center as well. So I'm going to take all this in mind. 
do everything as much as I need to as possible. Uh, but yeah, let's just get it done. It should be quite simple. Well then guys, I'm just getting ready to put all this back together. But one thing I have noticed is without this extra spacer, I'm not too sure how these hubs would fit your car if you had a standard um, Fiesta because basically with the spacer, it's got these gaps where it allows the um, sensor to um, lay flat. Whereas on the original one, it's on the left, so it's there, so it's com completely fine, so you wouldn't need it. But as you can see on the hubs, the um, the sensor goes on the right of the hub which we've got a space for it there but if you wasn't to have this here then it would still only be on the left so that's more what might be one thing that you need to con um, consider if you was trying to do this is probably getting like a 10 or 15 mil spacer probably don't need to go as far as this one but yeah that's one of my notions that i just realized um, so yeah it's going to work all right for me but if you wasn't going to do this with the spacer then i'm not too sure what you would do um, you might have to bore this hole out probably a little bit bigger that should probably work to be fair but that's just what one thing you should take into consideration if you was to ever try and do this modification Then. So as you can see, everything's been bolted down, got the spacer in there as well, and it's nice and flat, which is the one thing I was worried about, which is perfect. So the next thing is now, I can put the caliper on and all of the hardware, the brake pads and the disc can all go on now. This isn't taking as long as not doing what I thought it was gonna be, but the, like I said, the hardest bit is gonna be trying to do the brake cable because I have like, no previous knowledge of how to do it. But we're just gonna work through it, see how we go. But so far, we're looking good, let's go. Then guys, the caliper is on, the pads are on, the discs are on. So the only thing that's left now is to put the brake lines on. Um, so yeah, now it's gonna need two hands to do this, but all I've done is I've taken the clip out of here, pulled this down a little bit here, got um, a special spanner, crow's foot to undo that bolt, because you'd obviously don't want to round it off. And then once that's done, well, I'm gonna put the original, uh, I'm gonna put the hose in here first, and then I'm gonna put it strapped to there, then I'll do that one, and then do it while it's up there. Um, quite simple, two screws, and then that's it. But yeah, this is going very, very smoothly. Happy days. There we go, zoomed in. So right then, so disc pad, brake lines on, and everything, yeah, so. When the lines have been bled on this, it should all work good and proper. You can feel the pads already on there, but everything's all tightened down, new crush washers. This is gonna be absolutely sick. If I don't say so, so if I don't say so myself. Um, just gonna do a speed run on the other side because obviously you guys have just seen what we've done there. Just look at that. But yeah, that's not gone too bad so far. I didn't think this part was gonna be the hard part anyway. The next part's gonna be the part, the part after the part, after that makes sense the part after the next brake discs going on that's going to be the hard part but yeah so far i am very very happy with that looks sick okay then so we've made a bit of progress as you see the left side and the right side calipers are on uh this one got actually battered in the process but um that's going to need another painting and i think the brakes need to be worn in a bit because they are quite stiff i think i'll we'll have to wind the calipers back a little bit because it is already i can't even turn it at the moment and the handbrake's not even on so yeah as it, as it seems right now, everything's going quite well. That was so easy to do. I highly recommend doing that because that was that was so simple to do. So I've already gone into the handbrake. I've started to rip it apart from where it's connected to. So it's really dark. So I've started to rip it apart, as you can see, going down there. I've kind of got it to a bit there underneath the center pipe. And I've done it on the right side as well. So here comes the fun part. Let me just try and shuffle. All right, so. As you can see, the cable goes there and it goes underneath the exhaust. How do you get underneath that exhaust to get to that clip? So I've looked at the connector on the other one and it is literally just put it out and notch it back in and that's all it seems like. And I'm hoping that if I get the car, I'm gonna put the wheels on now, I'll put the car to the side. And then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, hopefully with no slack on the handbrake cable, I should be able to just pull it off and then put the new ones back on, hopefully. 
but um, that's my next plan. So yeah, fingers crossed, this is the part that I was gonna be dreading, but we are gonna do this because we've come too far to go back. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna try and show you this as best as possible. So back of the exhaust there, coming all the way back up into the middle. See this heat shield here, it's a separate part, a separate part. Come to that, undo the bolts there and there, and there's two just there and there as well. Once you've got to there, this will come off. And if you can see inside there, that's where the back left and the back right attach. Let me try and get that light in there. They attach to the rear handbrake cables. So what I'm going to do is, you see that part there? That's going to have to come off and the same on the other side. And then that will release the old um, Fiesta cables off. And then we'll insert the Focus RS ones in. Then boys, so I think we are done. Um, if you look underneath the car, you can see, I think you can see, yeah, the brakes are all on. I still need to put the wheel on that side, but yeah, that's all on. Yeah, come down a bit lower. So you can see that I run the handbrake cable all the way through the top. I need to get it um, pinned down properly. I'm going to have someone to sort that out. One thing I didn't really think about is that obviously the Ford Focus is a much longer car, so the cables for that are obviously going to be longer, which literally didn't cost me more. So I've got like a bit of excess wire, so I need to like straddle it down with something like which is just going to use cable ties, so it should be all right. But there we go. Brakes looking sick, absolutely sick. And if you look at the brake on there, not a bit of time attack because race car, bro. But yeah, I think that is it. Um, there are a couple of things that still need to be done. I need to adjust the handbrake cable because it's um, got a lot of slacking at the moment, so that needs to be sorted out. Also, need to bleed the brake lines, which is a two man job because I haven't got um, a self bleeder. So, that's one of the things to do. But as it looks now, I'm absolutely buzzing. It's what a, like, a couple of hour job just turned into like a whole day project. But yeah, look. absolutely meaty. But yeah, that's what I'm to do with the brake lines because it's not the brake lines, the handbrake line because it is quite long. But yeah, it's just sick. I love these. If you guys that went to the Tom Attack event know, you will know how cheap these were. But yeah, sick. Yeah, today has been very successful. Um, I hope I helped you guys out in any way, shape, or form. If you're interested in the brake videos that I've done in the past, I've got the ST150 brake uh, upgrade that I've done, and I've done drum brakes, which I'll probably leave down there. I'll also leave some suggestions down in the description just in case you're interested in other things that I've done to this build. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.